okay because I'll edit. It. I like that spontaneous beginning. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> yep. Good morning, everyone. Oh, sorry. Good evening. Oh, we're recording for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and three, two, one, action. Okay. This is what? What one is this? Un, un, deux, trois, quatre. Cat. And it's all yours, Sir Patrick. Hey, thank you very much, guys. Um, I gather uh, you around tonight because Kay wants me to have rabbits. I don't know nothing about rabbits, so I need help. You guys are willing to help? Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You can. So the only thing I know about rabbit is they're fluffy and uh, they're good to eat. So um, anybody know where to start? Like, uh, you know, I, like where do you get rabbits? What do you do with them afterwards? You know, like uh, I know they can be in a cage or they can be in a colony and stuff. So, uh, you know, there's you can go and raise one rabbit, eat it. There's no problem there. But, you know, if when you want to uh, be self-sustainable yeah. uh, and when you have a lot and breed them and stuff, like uh, where do you start? If you do that one at a time, it's going to cost you a lot because a rabbit you'll pay maybe thirty dollars. The thing is, you've heard the expression, uh, you know, breeding like rabbits. Well, they are the actual rabbits we've been talking about in those stories, and they make babies like crazy. Um, Marilyn, you might take me on that, but I think like around twelve weeks you can start eating them. They're big enough to eat. 12, 12 weeks. weeks is the three months. Yeah, maybe yeah. around three can, months, they, they begin to be big enough. Big enough, yes. What I, I, I'll go for four months to yeah. be sure. So, if you go uh, further than that, are they going to grow bigger or are they just going to eat the They will grow bigger, that? but it's kind, it's kind, it's like a human, you know, children, they grow fast. They stop, and then they they be they becoming a teen at three months, so they have a little push again. And after that, at four months, yes, they will grow bigger. But you have to calculate the cost of the feed, or the um, the amount of pounds more you you'll have. Mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. That's why they mostly they do it at four months because it's where it's like kif kif. So five would be too much. Three might be not enough, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but it, <coughs> but you can you can go further. I mean, we just did some that were almost I don't know eight months, and yes, they were big, but we didn't did them before because we didn't have time. I mean, okay. how much bigger would they be at eight months compared to like four months? Well, they will not gain a lot of size, a lot of muscle, of meat, but they will gain fat. They will gain, uh, I mean, at three or four months, they can be uh, around three pounds. At older, they will be five, uh, four pound meat carcass. Okay. Uh, Is that for all the rabbits or? fairly equal like uh they might have difference between breeds and whatnot yes but definitely is it like uh four months ish is regular day at the office for rabbit sort of thing or you will get one breed that oh you can get it for 10 months it's going to be like this big or something like that or it's always the same ish well i don't what most breed i think will be that that mark about four four pounds at four months four four five months okay. uh after that you have i don't know other breeds but you have the géant des flandres mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the really big massive one uh we got a male last year that i think i don't think he's a géant but he got some genetic of it in it in him and 
the 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 kids well the uh, rabbits who just called the uh, last month were five pounds that except was flemish biggest. flemish rabbits flemish yeah that's the name in english no and keeping like i remember when i when i first heard about rabbits i was like i'm used to like eat the uh, the wild rabbits right mm -hmm. and my, my parents keep saying well, it tastes like cat well first of all we don't know what cat takes like tastes <laughs> like i've never eaten any cats but you know there was their way of saying that it has like this awful kind of aftertaste i guess uh, but when i start talking about rabbits i have an uncle that used to raise them and he's like no like you'll see it's a lot different than what you you get in the wild um a rabbit tastes pretty much like chicken i find yeah might be a little bit stiffer the meat is not as um tender but if you cook it properly you can get like pretty decent uh meat meal out of it the meat will be good that's good that's is, good is the meat tougher at a later age than it would be at the butchering age yeah i think so well it's like every meat every animal the older you get it the tougher it will be but it's like chicken then but we always cook them like at least three hours at low temperature yeah so that's a trick tender at that point the, the bone just fall off that was one of my questions to be honest with you because every time i try to eat rabbits i can't say i was really happy with it right like it i i found it so hard to remove from the bones and stuff like that so you were saying that it can be very easy to remove after a few hours yeah well you ate really rabbit or wild rabbit it was raised rabbit like someone gave raised it to me rabbit. from his place so uh yeah definitely so, yeah the what's what's the difference in taste because my all my experience is with the wild hair snowshoe hair and mm -hmm. cottontail well you know yeah a little cottontail but mostly it's snowshoe hair and varying hair um what is the difference between the flick because i know you have to cook wild rabbit a certain way in order for it to to taste good or edible <laughs> i don't have much experience with hair so i can't compare maybe remy know more about it i know i know hair have much less meat in it but for I the, think taste, I don't. the meat is a little bit like more on the brown side as a raised rabbit would be more on the white side if you can compare a little bit on a chicken um it, it's really like the, the the one that you raise will definitely have the chicken taste yeah. You can put that in the plate to, if they're if they're cooked properly. Put that in the plate. Give it to Kay. Tell her one of them is chicken, one of them is rabbit. She might know the difference, but she'll. There's a chance she might go wrong on it. Like, that's how when you raise. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And when you raise them, it, you know, like we uh, we started to compare to chickens and stuff. And chicken, you know, you always keep the good ones, you know, and you eat the. Uh, weaker ones and stuff like that so same with rabbits i guess you keep your mother and your uh i know they have names i don't know what they are uh, but, uh I, I guess yeah the breeders uh the, the mother and the father right the dad and the mom yeah. so mm -hmm. you keep them for a while like how long can they live for they, they can live and, and we're talking five, average five, right? five six years easily but you'll see they will begin to be old and don't do much kids it's like a chicken you know uh, at the, the first year she will she, a chicken will do uh, an egg a day for for a rabbit at the beginning she can do uh, like 10 kids 10 10 young easily but the older she gets the lower, uh, smaller the the kit. Well, yeah, the 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 lower, she will be have four five kids at a time and two three. So at that time, you better stop it. 
you can keep it as a as a pet but you you, you can also uh, it's prefer to ret retire her so she okay so after a while it's gonna diminish in yeah. productivity i guess mm -hmm. yes. so i guess the the female is a doe and the male is a buck right even yep. for rabbits yes. yeah okay. and the young youngs are kids kids all right all right cool 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 so you keep them as long as you can but like four years you're saying it's pretty much the uh yeah not the end but you can keep them as pet i guess <laughs> yeah yes or okay. and you, you're talking about how they go down after a, a certain age but keep in mind when you start them um i i heard the the, the rule of three um you know you can get the, them pregnant they can have kids the first two times maybe they'll just let them die they won't take care of them they won't care for them um third time supposed to be a charm they're supposed to be good mother and take care of their kids if after a third time they don't it's uh freezer freezer time for me okay so the mother might reject the uh the kids uh the first few times you were saying well reject or th there's a learning curve i mean it's <laughs> It's hard to understand how a rabbit know what to do when she she has kids because normally she do a, a nest in a, a straw nest and after that she pulled fur to put on the kids because the kids born uh, completely uh, naked no no regulation of temperature and anything so she need to put fur on them so they keep warm and. It's hard to understand how she knows what to do the first time. So that that's why uh, the first time they lose, a lot of them will lose their all their their, their kids. But after that, uh, they'll 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 know how to do, and they'll be okay. That's cool. So. Um... Would that be in a cage or would that be in a colony? Like uh, that was one of the things that I've seen online is there's a couple of ways and maybe more to go at it. Like uh, I know that cages are maybe easier than others for some people, but um, what's your experience on that? I've never had the colony. I've never had the colony. I've seen uh, Darren has it unfortunately he couldn't be here tonight with us but he's built a colony i don't know how well it works um, what i do know is with the cages um, you have to keep in mind that the rabbit also needs to rest his feet so i always try to put a board in every cage so that the rabbit can go on and just relax because the the wires can be hard on their feet and you also need the wire because you want them to be able to like poop and pee and everything to fall under the cage. That's why I have a cage with wires on the bottom. And after like after a while, maybe the poop will accumulate no matter what. Like you can have wires and maybe the poop won't go through. And you have to keep in mind that the rabbits are not like chicken. Chicken can eat anything and you know that won't make them sick. If they get sick, it's because of something else. The rabbits, they're really, really fragile. If there's anything uh, around them that's not clean, that could make them sick and that could kill them. Okay, okay. So wires at the bottom, you put a corner, well, not a corner, but a side where they can rest their feet, plywood, whatever. So that those are two things that I noticed uh, here. Uh, what size cage you go for? Like, does it need a space? Mine are does the it need a uh, deluxe oh yeah what, what, why i have deluxe rabbits so i can't say for sure <coughs> do they taste better but uh what, what do you have as a setup the remy was talking about cages uh remy has cages uh i am on the floor okay um they have indoor hutch and outdoor pen on both on the floor the indoor... So you, you have kind of a colony, right, Marilyn? You you, you separate the males. I, and I the call it semi colony. Okay. <laughs> because I have uh, well, the outdoor pen is, I think, twelve foot by twelve feet by 
around maybe two and a half feet and the so interior they yeah they're rows yeah. and interior the the it's the <laughs> same thing the rows continue but it's smaller i think it's like three feet deep, deep. okay so there are like cage inside that they can go outside in their like a row yeah it's of both both okay. on the floor but yeah they can go outside or inside inside okay. they have a cover no wind full sun okay. so we keep each of your family in those section basically yeah every family have a, a corridor the the male has one to himself because he need to yeah. be by himself. Oh, okay. So he you don't mix the them all the time? No. Okay. Uh, I have period of meeting. Like it will be, we will be king beginning next March because it takes about a month uh, of gestation. Mm -hmm. So we That's don't cool. want the kids to, uh, to be born in the minus 30, you know. So we in the winter it's cold it's too cold for them we we begin in march in april it begins to be hot enough for them warm enough uh, yeah and after that yeah the, the the male visit the females or no the you have to bring uh, the female to the male the females visit the male because the contrary is a no a no, no. Okay, can you elaborate yeah. on She's that? very, very territorial. The, the, yeah. the, the females are really territorial. And um, this is something, one of the first thing I learned when I start talking about rabbits is you always, always, always take the female to the male. You'll do a sting and then you can bring back the female in the inner cage. Uh, you were asking, my cages are about, I say they need at least uh, two feet by two feet by three feet uh, per rabbit. Uh, you know, the, um, gives you, yeah. If you have two feet wide, uh, two feet, yeah, two feet high, two feet depth by three feet wide, it should be good enough. It's not a lux, but it's the minimum requirement, I would say. They, they, they need to. Uh, they need to be at least the the length of the a rabbit. You know, when it's when it's on the. Wait sleeping or yeah when it's resting like on, when it's resting rest. alone it need to to be uh, able to do that uh we did big cages big corridors because we wanted them to be happy to be able to run and uh, and everything is there such a thing as too big of a uh, cage thing or we, well ours is in my opinion, too big. Okay. Because, wow. yeah, the kids will run, will do uh, some back and forth. The adults will just sleep all day long. They will rest. They will go in, in one place and rest there and stay there. And I think I'm going to really come back much. here. They as don't a need the space to run like we talked. Okay. So they don't need much activity when you think about it. Okay. You don't walk them every day or no, no. The, only, the only thing in terms of activities that I would say is if you can find some uh, branches around like anything yeah. that's good for their teeth and they will scratch on it, eat it and chew on it. And that's actually pretty good for their teeth and will also give them some minerals and vitamins and things like that that they might need. Is that true that their teeth always grow? So that's why they need them. Um, Mm -hmm. I remember like, back when I was well, a kid. Well, uh, I think it's true. I never checked because we always give them something to uh, <laughs> do their teeth on. But what do you give to them? Sorry? What do you give to them to, uh, you know... Uh, like creamy branches. Okay. They, they, love, uh, they love poplar. They love a lot of branches. I have elder here that I try and get rid of. So whenever I cut a few branches, I give it to them. <clears throat> um, you know, they, they'll eat pretty much... Uh, I think, Magdalene, you were talking about cedars. Was that you a while back? Yeah. We are talking about giving them cedars. Um, you know, they'll eat the bark. They'll chew on the bark on, uh, well, they're not real called needles, but they'll they'll eat the green part. Um, they, they can eat.
pretty much a everything that grows on your property i would say if it's not good for them they won't eat them like they'll know a little bit like chicken you know chickens if if you give them something that it's not good for them they won't eat it uh, same same for rabbit you can put them on like if you left them on the grass um you know they would go around eat whatever they they, they can find it it's actually good for 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 them um their favorite for me i think it's dandelion leaves uh clovers um I, like the carrot leaves um you know the, the, they, the, they, the they, they have the a sugar tooth okay. yeah yeah kale lettuce uh, spinach things like that they can eat it okay so they uh i guess you can buy feed at the store as well but they will yes. eat anything that we eat basically right they are they are uh, vegan vegan 100 percent. okay they <laughs> like they want to eat meat like uh, chicken you can feed back chickens and you know uh, eggs yeah. and stuff well yeah. uh, so the 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 female when she gives birth will eat some kids sometime when it's they're weak or they're they're weak or they, they will okay. 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 it's to it's to protect the other kids okay she, she natural will selection the, the, the placenta and everything the, there's no not much blood left when she's done yeah that's good that's good so yeah. the reproducts oh go for it Ram. I was just going to say, if you're talking, like, since you're talking about food, uh, you just have to be careful. If you start them on something, um, you can't really switch them too fast on something else because they have um, fragile stomach. So if you start on one kind of feed and for some reason you have to switch on another one, uh, try to do it, like, slowly instead of just, like, switching one for another right away. Um you know, same goes for, for anything. I tried, if I put some rabbits on the grass, um, like I've, I've seen Hickory Croft Farm do that, where they, they will put like a rabbit tractor. Uh, mm -hmm. I try to pick the ones that are, as soon as they leave their mother, they're good to go on their own. I'll put these ones in a cage on the, on the grass and move them around instead of taking one that's been eating uh, the pellets for a while or... Um, and it's it's a good thing to give them some hay as well. Uh, the pellets is good to have, uh, but you will save a lot of money if you give them some fresh hay, and they'll eat that and have a lot of minerals in there as well. But if you switch feed or if you change your, um, the way they're eating, just do it slowly. Don't just go and switch, uh, you know, quick. Sensitive. Okay. So, I have or give them too much of a thing uh, suddenly, like uh, too much kale, too much uh, dandelion, then then the lions just going the small, small even carrots. The carrots is actually not really good for them, no, too sugary. Really, I would have <laughs> thought you know, like <coughs> rabbits and carrots, you know, right? Yeah, but they love really? it, they love it, but it's it's not good for sugary. them, they, they will go fat on it. And yeah, you want them to that much. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want them to die. No. Right, right. Diabetes or <laughs> you want to say something, Angie? Yeah, I have a couple <coughs> questions. Um when you said earlier that the females have to go in with male, how long do you leave them together? I wash them. I wash them until the male do his things. Okay, so it's and not like Okay, so it's not like you would leave them together, you know, sometimes, I know with dogs, you can leave them together. Well, uh, I could, I mean, I could, but I have a kind of a bad experience once that what I put the male with the female in, instead of the female with the male, and she turned him back on, on, on his back and almost castrated him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Until then, uh, until the time I I wash them, I make sure they they do their things, and after that, because yeah, we, once the female is is done, I mean the the male can still try on her, and maybe she will not be that receptive. So, so you're talking about half an hour, or you stay there for a day? No, no I stay there for uh, three minutes. 
Three minutes. Yeah, okay, okay, it, okay. It's so, three fall off. So their average length, then. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. used to that. Don't worry. <laughs> the rabbit will go on, like the male will go on the female. You'll see him do his thing, and then he'll fall off. He'll fall on his side. That's one. Yeah. He'll go back yeah. at it. They'll do it again. Fall on the side. That's second fall off. I usually go three fall offs, and then I remove the female from there. And okay. Now, so it's, you know, it's, you know it's, it's that he is. He, you know that he's done if he falls off. If he climbs off or just steps off, then he, he didn't do anything. Yep. But if he falls right. off? If he falls off, it's done. I've seen that online, to be honest with you. Like, it was a meme, actually. Like, you saw the rabbit. And then... <laughs> <laughs> True yeah, story. It. Look it up. Like a dying rabbit, you know? Um, <laughs> okay. It's uh, no. not long. It's like uh, two seconds, but... Uh... Right. right. <laughs> on uh, 13 hours uh the lost the soldiers of Benghazi or whatever the uh the wife sent sent Tonto that I think it was Tonto that video of the rabbit and he, he's like and falls off he's like <laughs> she's saying that's me that's not me <laughs> <laughs> so um I guess going into the next question then um sorry <laughs> Cats are fighting. <laughs> um, do the males have to be a certain age in order to breed? And it's okay, I got it. Do the males have to be a certain age to breed and the females? The females are ready earlier. The females are around three months. Okay. And the males are four months. So that, that's why I, I separate them at three months. I separate male and females. Mm -hmm. uh, because the males will not be ready, but will practice. And, like this stuff. <laughs> and you don't know when they will be ready and they'll practice on their sisters. They will practice on their mother. They don't care. At if there's, there's a female, they will be on. You'll there's know. No <laughs> I, that was the same with the goats. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I guess so far, the other question I have is, I have zero interest in eating rabbit, um, but I do have interest in their manure. So if someone like me wanted to maybe get into rabbits much later, but get into rabbits between like maybe selling babies and the manure, is it worth it? to have them if you're not doing it for meat as well, do you think? I would say so. Well, a, a bag, I think in the life of a rabbit, they will, well, until the four, four months, they will eat a bag of feed. And a bag of feed, it costs about $25. So your um, rabbit will cost twenty five bucks to eat at three yeah, months. Okay. To eat, yeah. and that, but that's at, how big during this time it will also poop. It will do a lot of manure, manure, mm -hmm. and like a lot, like a bag full, or does it give you back the bag that? You I don't know for one rabbit how much it does, <laughs> but uh, for me. Well, my, my semi colony make me, me what two hundred dollars this fall. I calculate. I don't know if you remember remember me. The 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 video you made, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I, I had a, about two hundred dollars worth of manure. I'd like to say you can get probably like a five gallon bucket per year per rabbit. Uh, oh, easy. One yeah. rabbit. For one rabbit, easy. yeah. And a five-gallon bucket the, would sell what? I would say for one, one rabbit, a five-gallon bucket. Quicker than that, you think? Uh, maximum two months. Really? That, yeah. That fast? And I never noticed. Because I know with rabbit manure, you can throw it right on the garden because it's not hot. Yeah. So how, how much rabbit manure, say for a four-foot bed by eight-foot bed? Um will a five gallon like will it take one five gallon per year like per season or 
Like, uh, I don't think you would need that much. You don't need that much. In your garden? Yeah. So if I wanted to take the manure and use it in, say, a four by eight garden bed, how much of that five gallon bucket? I, I would say as much as you use, bag you use. Yeah. yeah. Let's say that big, I would personally, I would use about four to six. And a bag is about a pail, like a five gallon pail or. Mm -hmm. Around that. Four by eight garden bed, I would probably use a bucket. And would you do that all at once or would you do that over the season? Probably two, three times, right? Yeah. It, it depends because the way the way that I do it is, um, let's say I'm planting my tomato plants. Mm -hmm. I'll take, you know, those little tiny scoops you can, you can get, like little tiny mini shovels. Yeah. I'll just mm -hmm. dig my hole and take like one scoop of uh, manure, put it in the bottom and mm -hmm. put my plant on top of it. That's what I do with my tomato plants. So it's hard to say exactly how much I need. Yeah. Uh, and also, like, in, I'll do it. Yeah. Just when I plant them, that's all I do. Okay. Um, I use that I three mean, times. Like when they flower, I, I use it again. Like I use okay. a manure, whatever manure. Um, I, I mean, I have so much that I don't really measure it. And uh, <laughs> usually, what I do is in the fall, I'll cover my garden of in rabbit manure. Okay. And it will all around the fruit tree during too. winter and spring. And yeah. after that I plant. I no, I don't put anything else during the season, I think. I would say. Depends where it is and the plant. So but rabbit manure is all you all you use for fertilizer, I guess, or? Yeah. yeah well, that's okay. So it, it yeah. would be worth it. So if I had like, obviously for me, it wouldn't be until we're a little bit more set up, but say in a couple years time, if I had five to 10 rabbits, um, oh, yeah. I have a nice little hut for them, then their manure would probably do my garden. Oh yeah. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, used four yeah. bags last year of manure on Four rows of 40 foot, 40 feet. Okay. So like in one and bag. And so it would be much row. cheaper to keep rabbits than, than yeah. Hey, and, and you can feed the them feet. not only uh, the feed. So. Yeah, because 25 bucks for uh, three months for one chicken will give you a pail or two. It's a four months, you were saying that two months for a pail. Mm-hmm. So that's like uh, you know two months, twenty five bucks uh, of compost. Twenty five bucks of feed for four months. You were saying, so you would make money right there, like you would mm -hmm. make double of what you feed cost you. And that's yeah. that's supplemental with the with the grass. The the pellets and stuff are like in, for the off season, and then you're feeding them other weeds and stuff. But now. With the rabbit manure, I know it's you can put it right on your garden, right around your plants. So you you probably couldn't go, you couldn't overdo it, could you? I mean, because it's not going to get. Any I, I think you still can overdo it because I did. I think I did overdo it for the tomatoes. They were beautiful, beautiful plants, but all leaves. Uh, yeah. that's a lot there, of there's still a lot of nitrogen in there so mm -hmm. uh, it's, yeah it depends on the plants I like onions and all leaves love rabbit manure well all plants love rabbit manure but you don't want leaves on all plants right which is would you say it's a, not the same of course but like is it better in chicken manure is it less better is it like the same or you think Oh, I think it's better. Easier to pick up. Yeah, it's easier. You can put it right on. The only thing is, well, I don't know for chicken manure, but if you put rabbit manure on top, it will degrade a lot less. I mean, I put I put the manure and I put the uh, leaves on top so it stays uh, humid and the worms will play with it and that will compost a lot better. If you leave it on top only, it will dry. 
and you have little balls everywhere dry. You put yeah. some mulch. And then you yeah. have to let the chicken manure age for a little bit so it's not so hot, right. right? So then you're- A year minimum. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can hot compost, but- <laughs> uh, Chicken manure is really hot. Yeah. I, I put um, in my beds this year, I had two beds that were chicken and goat manure. It had aged for at least a year. And then in the other bed was cow manure that had also aged. And my chicken and goat bed, I think it was there. They did wonderful. And I think with goat manure too, if I'm not mistaken, it's not hot as well. I can't remember. I, I think, think so too. Yeah. I know that I had some when I purchased the barn um, I had a couple of years back. There was the guy that had it had goats and he sold it to me because he had to get rid of, of the barn. He was losing everything. And um, I ended up having a bunch of manure in there and I just cleaned it up, uh, made a little compost pile and I kind of forgot about it. Right. And, and then last year, I realized, hey, I have some go compost. It's probably all, you know, decomposed by now. So I took it and put it in my a few like um, herbs bed. And I mean, the mandarin balm I had in there is just like, mm -hmm. it's huge. So I know it's working well. So I'm pretty sure. I, I think it's cold as well. Um, but I don't but have goats also, anymore. So. Yeah. Also, it's not that smelly. I mean, yeah. it's still smell, but it's not. I, I think chickens will smell a lot more than yeah. rabbits does. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was looking today at, uh, let's see, two falls ago. Yeah, two falls ago, I took the top six or eight inches off the pig pen and put it in a pile and then covered it all back up with wood chips and and that that manure oh my gosh it, it is dirt it's dirt now it's just so black but you got to wait with the pig manure you got to wait at least a year and a half to two years mm -hmm. because pigs can have certain parasites and stuff mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about that so much with with uh rabbits i don't believe you can you know, you can have have like a bin underneath their cage, from what I understand, and just go out and sprinkle it up over your garden and cover it up with a little bit of uh, leaf litter or whatever, and, and it'll break yeah. right down. Or That's what I heard, too. Yeah. Yeah, compost tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Like, do, do you think whatever you feed your rabbit with will make a different manure like uh would it be a better manure if you feed them with kale instead of lettuce you know <laughs> stuff like that probably i'm not maybe not to the point where we would see a difference but you know if you give them a little piece of uh comfrey every once in a while uh, which is actually good for everyone mm -hmm. um i i can't see that the the minerals would actually it out as poop and eventually you know end up in the garden uh to say that it would actually make a big difference i don't think it's something you would actually see i could be wrong well, but maybe because uh, i don't i'm not sure about what i'm saying but i think the rabbits don't digest everything i mean w when you take the a little ball you see it's a pellet you can't see it was a pellet and because they don't digest anything often you'll see them well I'm, i don't see them often but you, you can see them eat their first poop okay they, they, their first uh when when they go yeah. the first one that goes out they will eat it again because it's there's still something good in it and they will Crazy. eat it oh. So That's they crazy. eat their first round of poop, digest oh, the first one, the first one of the, the yeah, the first time, like so they'll go look wake up in the morning, they'll go poop, and then they'll yeah. eat that poop, and then the yeah. second poop is digested even further. There yes. was a dis there was a discussion I was in <clears throat> on Levit eating live by 
the book of Leviticus, the, the dietary rules. And this one guy was telling me, no, you can't because rabbits chew a cud. And what he was talking about was that they, they, they poop and then they eat it again. It's kind of like a cud, except it's not coming back from their stomach. It actually goes all the way through. It, it was pretty weird. And uh, I read in the book, in the book I have on, mm. on rabbits, uh, you know, like Remy talked before, the stomach are fragile, in mm -hmm. the well, it's fragile. So the kids will eat the mother's poop to form the bacteria that they need to to eat uh, pellets and. What, what the mother need, eat, Survive. the kids will be able to eat it because they eat what she, they eat. What she eat. <laughs> right. right. That's crazy. We go back and forth with like feeding and pooping and. Yeah, sorry. Composting. No, no, that's great because no. it goes around. You know, like it goes around like a. Like a it's, it's great. Like it's fucking great. <laughs> and But also, like, when Jay wanted to say that if you want, just want them to for the manure. That that's great because they are menu producer, but and also uh, compared to chickens, they're very silent. Yes. If you hear a rabbit shout, there's a problem. Okay. And what is what they shout? Like if they're hurt or predator, they hurt, uh, they're afraid. Uh, if they are afraid, they will do like a a beaver <laughs> on the leg. They will tap. Yeah, like you, a you'll hear banging thumper. on the floor. They will tap with their feet. Yeah, and there's a Rhymes coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, if they hurt, they 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 they'll shout. Yeah, so, when that's if one. If they of are the very worst. afraid, they shout. Okay. The, the the worst sound you can ever hear when you're because because we run dogs a lot hunting the the rat hunting the wild rabbits and. You don't want your dog to catch the rabbit because, well, they'll get the dogs will get worms basically. But um, but when they do catch a rabbit, oh my gosh, that sound is just—it's it, like a, a a torturous sound. I mean, it is just horrible sound from the rabbit. Right, it sounds or like the a dog, dog is a rabbit. Thing. They're like what? It's a very high pitch. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. it's crazy through. up in this trailer tonight. So if you guys hear some crazy noises, I'm sorry. I got <laughs> Mikey's partying again. What are you doing, Mike? <laughs> no, he's out in his little office. The dog's whining. The cats are like on prowl. I I muted it just before they knocked over a whole bunch of stuff on a shelf. And it's like, no, guys, I'm interested. <laughs> So you need uh, rabbits. Rabbits you need. They're quiet, I heard. Right. <laughs> um, um, you you guys had touched, or uh, Tracy had said something about you don't want the uh, dogs to get the wild rabbits because of worming or getting worms. Do you have to deworm rabbits? I never had worms. No. Any, any kind of uh, medicinal thing you need to do to rabbits? I had mites, ear mites, mm -hmm. for uh, solo rabbits, and that's what I do now. That's why I do semi-colony too, because, well, except for the male, the male is more difficult, but except for, for the males, I have at least a pair of rabbits per corridor, because what I saw that the, the wash each other and they, they they clean they clean each other and they will clean ears each other each other ears and th there's where the mites are i saw mites on solo rabbits only i never saw mites on pair or more of than one rabbits so you're saying you got a pair that means you got you have at least two rabbits per cage or corridor except for the male yeah So the male's okay. by himself. And then you had the okay. Because uh, I tried to mail. It will do for so for so long, like two brothers, two young brothers will do for so long. But after we made them, 
they became became aggressive on each mm -hmm. other and it was it not at all. Yeah. Crazy. But females, the two females, mother, daughter, two daughters, uh, two sisters, uh, auntie, uh, two friends, they, they, they will stay together. Um, now, with that, how often do you um, rotate? Because I know with a lot of animals in, in animal breeding, you have to be careful with father and and like you said they'll the the guys will they're pretty much human men they'll do anything um no that wasn't right. i hope you all anyway. do it with your mom but okay <laughs> well no 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 oh, okay. <laughs> don't put me in that, that category tracy yeah yeah. Oh, my God. yeah but but yeah that was bad um but <laughs> But how, how bad, or how, how do you take care of the genetic problems that come up from inbreeding, or, or is that a worry? It depends if, it depends what you want to do with the rabbit. If, if you intend on eating the rabbits once they get big enough, I mean, you can have brother and sister breeding, and I would eat the rabbits. I mean, you're not going to die. And... You might have one or two that are not normal, but you know they'll just die if they don't make it. Um, if you want to have them, you know, because I have a few ones. Like every once in a while, you'll you'll lose a rabbit, like same as chicken. Uh, you don't want necessarily to have inbreeding. You know, like you, you're saying, you don't want to have same family from generation to generation. So it's good to change a little bit every once in a while. Um, I try to have. Like I have friends that have rabbits and uh, I try to get like one male every second year or a female every second year just so I can breed them and have new new lineage of, uh, you know, blood. Right. So is there a point where you say, oh, I need two rabbits, then, oh, I need three male rabbits, you know, like because like I have like three, four, like those. No, you like change that. what you always need, just need one, but you change it. Okay, uh, it's a bit different than chicken. Then you know, like let's say chicken, you have three families, you rotate. The genetics is good and stuff like that. You know, uh, yeah. is it the same with rabbits, or are you saying like just change it like uh, every well, couple I generations? Think for or? like uh, the, the the breeders that if you have one trait you really want, I think they do father daughter once. Okay. After that, you, you, if you do a grand, grandpa daughter, granddaughter, it begins to be a kind of weird. Yeah. But in, in <laughs> no, I thought it would be the opposite because know. it would be further down, you know? Like, uh... Yeah. But I, I did have had some accidents when I started. Uh, I think I was at the third generation inbreeding and I began to solve problem like uh, one had only one ear uh, one uh, his eyes open like at one month old normally they open at one week 10 days oh so he, he was uh, <laughs> well yeah. it, it was kind of funny because his brother sister were always with him always taking care of him taking him to the feed and everything Really? It's kind of so, nice, but so they're smart and and sociable. Yeah, they they are sociable. I yeah. never <laughs> been able to socialize my rabbits because they are in too big pen, so they go away. But well, I've had one issue with one female once. Um, she was pregnant, and she ended up letting her kids die. And after that, I could not approach her. She literally attacked me once. She tried to like she tried to bite me, and by the time I realized she was coming after me, and I, whoa, what's going on? She kind of tipped, the, 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 like touched the tip of my finger, and then I figured, okay, maybe like you know she was just still stressed from the kits and and all that stuff. So I gave it like another month, and then I realized that she was like always aggressive. She was I don't know what happened, um, 
but I figured, you know, I have young kids here and she's going to go to freezer camp. So I, I, I did what I had to do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they, they all have different, per- the different personalities also. Yeah, well, they're, they're like any other animals or even humans, right? You, you can have 99% of them that are good and then you'll get the one that's bad. Uh, mm-hmm. But no matter what, if you have rabbits, uh, long sleeves. <laughs> yes. They scratch. Okay. Bad. It's like having a cat with the claws out, but twenty four seven. Yeah, my my cats twenty four seven. I don't think they can retract them anymore because in New York you can't get them declawed. But I don't even I don't even know if you can clip a cat's nails. Uh, in Quebec um, here, you cannot. Um. The, the oh, what was the question? Now when. Okay, now this is going to sound weird because I'm a homesteader. I My animals are a food system except for the cats. And in extraordinary circumstances, maybe. Um, well. Yeah. Um, hey, I'll just put some uh, teriyaki on it and go Chinese. Um, but uh, <laughs> that's why you need to feed it well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... Um, the, the one thing I don't like about the pigs is when they look at you, they are intelligent like a dog. They, they understand a lot. You can just see the intelligence in their eyes. With a rabbit, do you get that at all? I think they understand. I, I, they, they, they learn to know you. They, you they, they know you feed them. I think they understand. They, they they say not to, like, not to remove all the kids at once, because the mother will like, uh, where are my kids? So you remove half of them, maybe, and if a little while the the other half will go. But they eat them no more. But yeah, when when it's butcher day. The cuteness of the rabbit is a more of the problem than the the the, the eyes. Yeah. It's not like chickens. You you look at meat chickens. The meat chickens are ugly, <laughs> so it's easy to just take the chicken, put it down, and do what you have to do, and then it's done. But the rabbits, it's like, yeah, you can't really put them in a cone face down. It won't work. <laughs> I was actually my, sorry. Go ahead. No, go for it. I was just gonna say that was actually uh, when we first moved up here. Um, I don't know what killed it, but there was a fresh uh, rabbit kill, um, and one of my neighbor kids brought it back to me, and that was the first thing I cleaned ever. I thought I'd practice on it, and I found because I'd never even done chickens or anything before, and I was like maybe two months into country living, and what I found was once the fur and everything was removed yeah it was neat i didn't eat it but because I, I was i was not knowledgeable at all so i didn't know what to look out for or anything um and but i wanted to practice because i knew we were going to get meat birds and i wanted to practice and once that fur is all gone and the you know it's like at first you're like oh poor bunny and then it was just meat yeah no. without fur it's yeah it is ugly yeah. <laughs> Same happened to me with chickens, to be honest with you. First yeah. time I did the chickens. Same. Um, my uh, brother in law told me to uh, you know to gut them. I was uh, I was like, okay, I don't know how. I, no problem. Then he asked me to kill them. I was like, that's different. Like I don't feel good, but mm-hmm. I did it. I did two hundred of them. And uh it wasn't easy at first and it wasn't easy at the end, but I like it that way, you know. It's uh keeps yeah. me sane, well- I guess. No, I have to it, say I'm not doing it. My boyfriend is doing it. I mean, I take care of the rabbits all their lives. He takes yeah. care of them at mm-hmm. the last day. It's no. uh, go for it, Tracy. But it, it oh. is quick, right? To uh, to process. The, yeah. Uh, yes. The it's rabbit. about twenty minutes. Yeah, I was going to say fifteen. I think I did. Uh, once you get used to it. If you have a proper setup, all I do is I have some beams in my in my garage, and uh, I put a rope on top of the beams to make sure they have their legs like maybe like you know half a foot apart. 
um, tie them up and the back leg. You, yeah, you just cut a little bit of the fur and once you reach like the, the butt, you just hold it down and everything comes out and then uh, it's pretty Are easy. You just, so you yeah. don't do the uh, seven second uh, removal? Like you see those guys, like I, I was looking right and they're like, it's all done. Everything is done. I'm like, what? Like, how do you do that? Uh, <laughs> I don't um, know. No, but the, it, the, the males are harder to do than females. Why is that? I don't know. It uh, the 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 skin. Well, maybe I, I'm do it doing it when they are older, but the, the, there's less fat on the male than females, so the skin mm -hmm. is more attached. I thought you had one more notch to go around, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's you. Um, do you keep the pelts? Sorry. Oh. No, go ahead. Do you keep the fur? Do you do anything yes. with it? Yes, I have some here. That's another problem with the rabbits. Now, and are they... Or? <laughs> with uh, with wild rabbits, I used to... Oh. I found a recipe in an old book how to pickle the fur or because the skin is so thin, you don't really have to tan it. You can pickle it. How... how what formula do you use? Do you have a, a set formula that you use to preserve? I don't, I'm not doing them. Someone is doing them for me oh, because okay. I don't have time yet. Uh, I think it's you using a, a loo something. Alum? Alum. Alum, yeah, yeah I think that... it's using alum and scratch it. Yeah, it. I, I think it's it's thicker than wild rabbit, but still not really thick. And are they profitable? Like, or do you keep them for another purpose? Uh, we all keep them for now. Oh, that's pretty blackish. I love that one. Yeah, that is nice. Uh, so every rabbit can now, get fur. and we want to do a blanket with it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very soft. Yeah, yeah. And so we we, yeah, we yeah, prefer to keep the winter coat than the summer coat oh. because it's thicker. It's thicker, yeah. Mm -hmm. thicker. Okay, okay. More hair? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, more hair. Okay. So there's three things we can do with uh, rabbits right now, right? Like, again, obviously the fur, we have uh, the poop, and we have the meat. Is there anything else we uh, try to think here? Of course, Patrick. Well, we, with the, the bones, you can do the a broth. Nice. Yes. But there's a lot of fat on it. Uh, rabbit fat. They, they say rabbit is a lean meat because the fat is all around. It's not in the, the meat. It's it, it's very all around. So you can scrape it. No fat left. But what we do with the fat, we, we scrape it we, and we do uh, not lard, but uh, well, like a kind of lard. A grease, maybe, for like cooking and stuff. You know, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello. Hello. Like uh, you can see this one beginning, oops, beginning to uh, to be a liquid because it's uh, it, at room temperature it's beginning to be liquid, but uh, in the fridge it's okay. kind of soft water <coughs> texture. That's good. So at that point, what what is left of the the rabbit at that point? Only oh. the carcasses, yeah. Well, like Remit said, it takes him uh, 15 minutes to do a rabbit. We take 20 minutes because we keep the all we, we take care of the fur, we want it whole with the pelt. Uh, the ears goes to a friend for her dog, she dried them, and it's a dog, dog toy. Uh, same thing as the for the feet, the foot, mind the feet. Uh, like them, uh, some organs, yeah, just chop them. Yeah, yeah. 
Same um, thing with the organs. We keep the liver, the uh, heart, and the, the kidney. Kidney. Or liver. Kidney. Kidney. Kidneys. Yeah, we keep them. Mm -hmm. uh, we eat them or for the cats. We give them to the um, cats. Real quick, uh, we're about to go into the after show. Um, so, uh, everybody want to say where you're found on social media? Go, go for it, uh, Tracy. You're number oh, one. Started it. What's that? Oh, you want me to start? Um, me? Okay. TAM141 Homestead uh, on YouTube. Uh, I am also on Instagram, uh, tham141homestead.com. And uh, Tracy Hand on uh, Facebook. I'm Patrick, Patrick Cost. Uh, you can find me under my name everywhere. I do shorts, uh, so don't try to find any long video from me. <laughs> Not uh, yet, anyways, right? That's right. <laughs> that's a very good plan. <laughs> yeah. We're waiting uh, for the day. We're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like this kind of format, though. You know, it doesn't take time, it's uh, very informative and stuff so uh yeah. that's where you can find me anyway but these guys here got real content so uh go for it, remy. <laughs> um i'm remy from rem's family farm you can find me on youtube uh, facebook instagram pretty much it i'm angie and right here is my channel me and you acres on youtube and that is also our facebook and instagram handle and all of our older stuff is over on TikTok too, which I don't post there really anymore. But and I'm a little homestead by the beach on YouTube, and that's about it. Where I am. You have a page on Facebook too. It's true. Yeah, it's not really. Uh... <laughs> you don't keep it up to date. So is that when we get get all the recipes now on Patreon? Is that where we yes. get all the yes, private we, recipes? we get the recipes and oh. something else I do with the rabbits. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, we we have we have a uh, a hook. Susp yeah, suspense. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So head on over to the Patreon. No borders, homesteaders on Patreon. All right, we will see you in. Well, we'll see you there. Right now. <laughs>